Oh, we're draining somewhere else. That's not good. We actually made a discovery at this last cylinder here. We might have to take the camshaft off. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be getting back on a 1998 Toyota Tacoma Rebuilder. This is actually the fourth episode we've already done on this truck. And in the last video, we did a bit of troubleshooting to figure out what's wrong with this engine because it's actually not running 100%. And then in the last video, we did a compression test and we figured out that one of the cylinders has absolutely no compression. So we did a bit more research online and apparently there have been some other stories online of these similar trucks that have been sitting around for a while and that caused one of the valves to be stuck open. And of course, if you have a stuck open valve, that's gonna create no compression in the cylinder. So that's what we think we might have because this truck has also been sitting around for like seven years. So we might have a problem with the stuck valve as well. So what we're gonna do is probably end up tearing this motor apart to take off all the intake valve cover. And so yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, we got the engine fully stripped down. This is what it looks like. And take a look at this valve. We actually made a discovery at this last cylinder here because this is the cylinder that has zero compression. We figured out why. This valve definitely has a gap in between the camshaft. It is stuck down, which is causing there to be no compression. And actually both exhaust valves are actually stuck. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll zoom in on it. Look at that. Oops. Yeah, definitely a gap inch. So that's definitely why there's absolutely no compression in that cylinder. And uh, yeah, basically the air is just flowing right through. Yeah, so the guys on the uh, internet that we were, when we were doing the research, their suggestion was to uh, use a product called Marvel Mystery Oil <laughs> yeah. and soak it in that. Oh, and, to uh, free up that valve. Yeah. Because it, they, the people on the internet had the similar story with the, their valves being stuck open like ours. So. That's right. And then they, they use this Marvel Mystery Oil. Yeah. And then they vibrated and tapped on it with a, a brass punch. Yeah. So... Uh, we, we actually picked up some of this we, Marvel Mystery Oil. We actually found some. Yeah. So we're we're going to try that too. Soak the valves in that. Yeah. The um, spring might be stuck or something. Yeah. So we don't know yet, but... Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we'll, we'll tap on it with a with a punch too at the same time. Mm -hmm. and this might take a little while to free it up, but if yeah. it, if that does work, then we don't have to take the camshaft out. Yeah, that would be really nice because that's going to be a lot of work to take off those cams. Yeah, <laughs> we don't want to disturb all the bearings and everything. Yeah, exactly. So let's all right, just... well, let's see if we can free up some of these valves. All right guys, this is the situation we're at right now. We actually managed getting one of those valves unstuck, which is awesome. Take a look at that. It actually came up. 
Here you can see it, this is the valve right here, and now it's actually up and it's touching the cam lobe, which is the, how it's supposed to be. But the one, there's another valve back here because there's two exhaust valves, and that exhaust valve is still stuck. You can't really see it, but it was not coming up. And we've been hammering it, oh, one second. We've been hammering at that one valve for so long and it just won't come up. So what are our options? Well, we could uh, soak it with penetrating fluid, which we already did. And yeah, then, we could just hope that it comes up if we just keep yeah, trying. Yeah, we'll just keep but, on trying. We're basically tapping on it with a drift punch, vibrate right. it loose. Yeah, and it worked for the first one, but so far it doesn't seem like it's doing anything for that second Yeah, one. It's, it's not coming up. Our thought was that we might have to take the camshaft off. To get better access at yeah. the valve. Yeah, Yeah, because if we can get to the top of the valve, then we might be able to even grab it and rotate it. And Yeah, because we might need to actually unstick the valve. It might yeah, be stuck in there. Yeah, so if we can actually you know grab onto it, but uh, we'd have to get the camshaft out of the way for that. So in order to do that, then we would have to remove the timing belt anyway. Yeah, we'll have to take this off in order to rotate these cams freely. That's right. And we were already going to replace the timing belt, so good time to take that off. So we're going to start by taking off everything in the front of the engine here. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, so we got most of the stuff out from here and we're all hung up on one little thing here and this tensioner that needs to come out here. There's one bolt that's like way in here and we got this one out but there's one still way back there. And uh, we actually need like a U-joint swivel for a socket which we don't actually have. So we're gonna have to go get one of those uptown probably. And also guys, we ended up actually taking out the, ra the radiator and the condenser because they were in really bad condition. Basically, this uh, condenser is just rotting away. It was in horrible condition. 
So we're definitely gonna be replacing that. And the radiator was also kind of leaking a bit, so we're probably gonna get a new radiator. Taking out that stuff actually gave us easier access to that crankshaft pulley to get that bolt out with the impact gun, which made the job really easy for us. For now, we're just gonna go uptown real quick and grab that swivel joint we need to get that bolt out. Alright guys, we're back from going uptown and we picked up this uh, U joint that we needed so now we can actually get at that bolt. This is like the flex joint, 360 degrees. Well, not quite, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, that will be really handy. And uh, we also picked up like, one of these uh, cookie discs, I think they're called. Cleaning disc or whatever. It's meant for yeah. cleaning the surface when you put uh, new parts on it where there's a gasket. Okay. It cleans off the old gasket uh, yeah. material. and We'll be using that when we uh, put the stuff back together. Probably. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What are we gonna do next? Well, let's try to get that uh, tensioner off and then we'll uh, keep on going. All right, let's do that. <laughs> All right guys, we got that camshaft off and it definitely took a little while, but we got it off properly. We even had to follow that service manual for this truck for that camshaft, because those bolts had to come off in a certain pattern. And now we can easily see which valves definitely stuck down. Take a look at that. So these are two exhaust valves here and they're supposed to be both up at the same level. This one is definitely lower down as you can see. So that's definitely the one that's stuck. And there's actually buckets sitting on top and they can actually move them and uh, you can actually take them out. So we're gonna see if we can take those buckets out and uh, see if we can get easier access to that valve so we can unstick that valve. So yeah, let's go and try that out. All right, my dad's got a magnet here and uh, we're gonna see if we can fish out those uh, buckets on top of those valves. Oh, there we go. There it is. So that's the cover that goes over the valve. And down there is the top of the actual valve spring, I guess, or like yeah. the cover. The valve stem itself. The valve stem, yeah. yeah it's right wow. There. So we definitely got some good access to that valve. And uh, hopefully in the next video, we're gonna get that valve unstuck and uh, get everything back in this engine. And hopefully we're gonna get this engine running. So subscribe and stay notified for the next video on this truck. And uh, we'll go watch that playlist so you guys get caught up on all the other videos we've already done on this truck. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!